Um, well, my name is Karen Wilcox. I'm a senior at Christchurch Episcopal School. Um, I'm applying to schools to study the classics. Um, and I started working in Neighbor Fergus last year um, as an after school volunteer. And um, I <laughs> help with the kids after school, I help them with their homework, and I really enjoy. Um, spending time with them and I did a lot of overseas mission work and mission work outside of the Greenville area and I found that I can do a lot here as well and I, I was really excited when Mr. Um, Gross should, gave, gave me the opportunity to come work here because I could see that I could make just as much of a difference in Greenville which is almost better because it's like people that are around me and my community so I get here and around like right after school and they have a snack and meal provided for them because they don't, we don't really know if they get food at home so um, that's provided and I get here after they've eaten and when they're right working on their homework and so I help them with their problems and just make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing because you don't really they need to be doing that work because they don't get that as much as much attention at home and then it'll normally end with us reading um, I like all of them have to re read a book or two to us just to make sure they're working on those skills. And we play a game, um, they get to vote on the game they want to play, it's always really fun. Um, and then they have more time to work on school stuff or read more if they didn't get to finish. And then we'll do a lesson, we'll come to the sanctuary here and we'll teach a lesson on um, every month there's a different like quality or characteristic that we try and teach them about and teach them that, teach the importance of it and so he'll come in and teach a bible lesson or read from a book or just a way to get them to be thinking about how they can become better people. Um, last year I was here Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday and this year I'm just here Tuesday and Thursday. My, the first day I came back from after the summer and like the girls I had been with like all last year like they remember they remembered me they remember my name they came and like hugged me and like I don't know like we had a we had I have really close relationships with them and it's like well they're only like seven and eight years old but still they're some of my some of my closest relationships and I love to see them grow and um, I think that's like the most fulfilling part to me is just getting to see them grow and um, learn and become who they're going to be and I'm glad that I can like be a part of that it's really important so really I've always liked working with kids um, and. I've thought about being a teacher or um, I don't really know. But somehow I'm or I'm also more interested in politics and so it's made me see the flaws in the school system and I think that's something that I can really, you know, take with these like concrete examples. Like I don't know how to teach someone how to read, but it's important for me to see really that we're looking and making sure that the schools are helping them be prepared in the ways that they need to be. And, um, I guess that's really opened my eyes to see how I can make a difference like in helping them but also in a bigger picture since I'm interested in politics, like what I can do from that standpoint after, after school. I used to be a, from when I was three until 10th grade, I was a dancer at Canada Valley Theatre and I was there all day, every day after school and I just, for hours, and I was just like, I'm not going to be a professional dancer. I'm not making, I'm not doing anything here. I'm not like making a difference on anyone's life. And I was like, you know, I just need to find a better way to spend my time. And so I was looking for like an alternative to what I have been doing after school. And Mr. Gross like presented the opportunity to me and I was like, yes, like this sounds perfect. So I've fallen in love with it ever since. I really, I see how privileged I am and how blessed I am. And it's like, they can be, they can make such an impact on me and they have, don't have mirrors what I have and that just brings me a lot of joy and it really humbles me and I, I, I guess that's probably the best part is just the relationships that we have and getting to see kind of how they can be happy in their circumstances. Probably my parents, <laughs> I know that's probably cheesy but um, you know they're so supportive of me and they give me so much. I'm so thankful for them and um, I've just been so blessed by them that I just want to like share that blessing like in any way, in some way because they, they've blessed me. She's awesome!